uh, dock at the commercial pier. How many years has it been in effect now? Because I thought the 24. I was going to say it's been a long time. Quite a while. Yeah. And for it to be that successful and last this long. We're, w we're one of three towns that still has the money. There were like 30 towns that were given money way back. So we got the yeah. three that the, been As far as I know, there's Cutler, Callis, and the Rebecca. <laughs> So in other words, that goes to show yeah. the, uh, the, management the management of it has right. been a yeah. success part of it. Yeah. Right. And, and the, and the, the early 80s. Yeah. Was it really? Wow. Wow. That's yeah. big. I thought that was wonderful. And it's keeping All local people. dollars in yeah. local businesses. It's right. keeping it's local good. dollars in local businesses, and it's helping people to start businesses. Uh, we have a lot of former right. clients that are still around that have very successful businesses. And uh, we had, if you notice from your uh, <coughs> spreadsheet, we had fame money, uh, which was lent out, paid back, and uh, Finance Authority of Maine, which is what fame is, allowed us to keep that money and relend it. Um, they charge us a yearly fee for <coughs> keeping the money, which aggravates me, but whatever. <laughs> well, yeah. But I did note today that they have uh, lowered our annual fee from 500 to 375. Well, yeah, right? So maybe it's because of all those years I call up and complain. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not only tight, I'm grumbly. <laughs> so I was happy to see that, but it, it, it has been a good organization. It's had some wonderful people on it over the years, including Betty Case, who served for many years on the RLF. Um, yeah, when I sat down and I tried to think, you know, just try to get a rough estimate of the number of jobs that that program supports, mm. I mean, it's over 50. Yeah. And in a small that's community significant like Lebanon, that's us. significant. That is. Yep. Yep. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's successful for that long. That says something as far as... Now, the late uh, Walt, Mr. Uh, Walston, he was on that program. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yep. He yeah. Yeah. And I knew him well, and I knew that from the past at all. Yeah. No, he, he really that was all. <laughs> well, and, and that was you know when when we reviewed applications, he had really good questions, and mm. I mean he had a lot of thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know, he he really knew. Yeah. If you were going to run a business and what it took to be successful. Yep. I'll give Bo Layton the is on there. Bo Layton. Um, yep. He oh, does yeah. a wonderful job. He's been yep. on there for many years. Um, yeah, that's right. Willie cool. Corey. Yep. Yep. Well, yep. Yeah. Well, Peter Boyce. Yep. Peter's yes, the chair. Yes, yeah, so you've all got good business and people. That more, more in good. And yeah. squeaky wheel. Oh, yeah. And squeaky <laughs> wheel. Well, wow. <laughs> this is tight. <laughs> and Maureen is a, a great asset. Uh, she has a bank. She has a background in commercial bacon, mm -hmm. and uh, she is a great resource for information. Had some discussion with board members uh, with the wastewater report. Uh, mm -hmm. They use a lot of uh, uh, initials, they use a lot of strange <laughs> language. And I talked to Bruce about coming up. And what he did was, uh, in the packets, he copied a chapter in his book that really goes into explaining it. There's a lot of reading to it, but the BODs and um, it, it, there's really a <coughs> lot of good information here. And Bruce is here tonight. Um, and congratulations, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> we, we did receive... I, did we do that last week? I, no, oh, we did. No, I, I just got the certificate and I sent him one from me. Well, uh, I'll send one from the board. The board well, wants let's to tell sign everybody what we're congratulating right. him for. Oh. Um, <laughs> Make it official. <laughs> yeah. Bruce, uh, when he took over the uh, position of the wastewater treatment plant, uh, one of the goals that was set for him was that he would get his wastewater treatment plant operator's license from the state of Maine. In order to do that, he needed a textbook from the University of California? Yeah, Sacramento. Uh, from Sacramento. Mm -hmm. And he's been pursuing that over the course of the year. Um, he did, he was notified back in November. And, um, you know, we talked about sending him a letter of appreciation. And I told him I want to see that the diploma, that certificate. Uh, he, and he, he did bring it in. Now, when he brought the certificate in, they gave him a level of wastewater treatment operator two, taking into account his years of experience under Bunky, uh, 
who was the former supervisor down there. So he is not a wastewater. He's not a level one. He is a level two. Uh, five is the highest. Yes. Um, so he does have a ways to go. Uh, Bruce, do you want to explain this a little bit? What you got? Uh, what you provided? What some of these levels are? What you look for? Why you look for them? Well, a lot of it um, has to do with the performance of your plant. Um, what's coming in, for the most part, you can't control it. Um, you can control somewhat what's leaving the plant. We have guidelines. We have to go by our license requires certain guidelines, and if we don't do good well, we get fined or whatever. Um, some of the things that I got on the on the paperwork there were some of the lab procedures that we use to measure the performance of the plant. Um, a couple of them are what we call a BOD5. It's a biochemical oxygen demand, and the 5 stands for it's five days. It sits in the incubator five days after we set it up, and then we take it out and do our comparison with our influent, which is what comes into the plant, and the effluent is what goes up the other way. So they're just more or less um, ways of, like I say, finding out what what your performance is, how much of the, the oxygen demand you're taking, because solids come in in the wastewater and they have an, a demand on, on your oxygen. You can't put it out in the bay because it's, it's eating up all the oxygen, obviously. So our, our goal is to get as much of the solids out. Um, through settling, which is mostly what we do, is we, we have settling, and we have a pretty good settling time down there. It may be a little longer than what we need, but we can't control the flow coming into the plant. So we actually, it can benefit a little bit. You're, you're getting more. Our license requires 50% solids removal, and we're, we're running around 70%. Um, our BOD removal, taking the oxygen out, which is, like I say, the solids and stuff like that requires 30% and we're running anywhere between 55 and 60%. So we're doing real good. And I know the plant goes over some of the work. They, they've had troubles down there before with the BODs. Um, but we worked with John Carman over the last few years and we've really brought the levels up way, way beyond what the license requires. So it looks pretty good. Oh, that's that's excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I believe in conversation you and I, Bruce, um, I think our license requires, what, 30? 30 on the BOD and 50 on the sellable <laughs> solids. And what do we achieve? Um, close to 70 on the sellable solids, the suspended solids, excuse me, and close to 60% on the BOD. Wow. So we are... That's twice as good as what? Yeah, it's right. taken, it's taken yeah. off in the last five, six years down there. And I have to say, it is the cleanest place. That we have to keep it clean. It's so yeah. clean. <laughs> it's receiving. Right. Do you think yes. the wastewater treatment plant is going to be smelly and gross? It is but not. Right. No, it's, it's cleaner not. than most no. restaurants. No. Are. Oh, don't. No. Bruce, how no, long is your certification? Do you need to recertify it any point? Yes, and they, we have to do 18 hours of um, approved training every two years to, to renew the license. Okay. So we'll be looking for some more training. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's really good. Appreciate it's it. Really nice. And yeah. if any of the selectmen haven't been down there, they should, really should go down. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to take a tour. I'd like to make a motion that the board sends him a letter of appreciation and recognizing his achievement. Ooh. And make sure we get a copy of his uh, certificate for his file. Mm -hmm. We haven't already done so. I'll second that. All in favor? Thanks for doing a job down there. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate all you guys' hard work. You did a great tour because I went in November. Did you? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, 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 I wouldn't burn in. No, no. It is clean. It is. It's very clean. It doesn't even smell. It did. And there's a laboratory down there, quite a complex laboratory. Oh. And, uh, it's very, very clean, and then grinder. they take you out front and yeah. you, they open this huge hole and say, Wow, well, there it is. <laughs> yeah. All to it. Yeah. I remember, um, you know, my first tour um, going down and, again, not knowing what to expect, and Bunky took me up, and even the tanks out back, you know, it, 
I really expected something horrible, but right. it, it's not. I mean, yeah. there is a pr process. I mean, it is wastewater from the town. You know what it is. Right. Um, but it, it is, you know, processed in a way that's mm -hmm. livable, livable, usable. And, you know, when they're done, what they're putting back out is, <coughs> um, you know, twice what the state standards are. So I think that's that good. is that is good for the high standards that they have, and yeah. they do a good job. Shows our commitment to the environment. Yeah. All right. All right. Is there any money credit for that? Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, next item we have is uh, uh, to sign a quick claim deed for the estate of Gary Bajara. Which, uh, which property is this one? Yeah. Dixie, uh, Dixie, okay. Did you check it clear? I need to get asked, but yes. good. I you always ask that. I do. Okay. Then I make a motion that we sign the quick claim deed. I second that motion. All in favor. What's the property we sold? No, we didn't sign out a foreclosure on this because oh. it was an estate and it was a probate. We couldn't follow right. through. Right. Yep. But our foreclosure is still at the registry, so this is to clear that up. But they have paid everything is current matter fact they overpaid to this credit for. <laughs> oh well. The next well, so that even yeah. means that a, an abandoned property.